Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Got another awesome magic trick from Henry Harrius. From Henry Harrius Presents. Man, if you watch my channel for any amount of time, I have reviewed all of uh, Henry Harrius's library, I've done all of his tricks, many of which paid for myself because uh, I'm a firm believer. I'm a firm believer. If you're gonna do magic tricks with a Rubik's Cube and your option is between this and this, I'm always gonna say, pick the one from Henry Harris because he gives you quality, quality everything. Quality props, gives you more props than you actually need. Um, in this case with the Tornado Cube, he even gives you a little micro Phillips screwdriver. I mean, yeah, you get above and beyond with Henry Harris every single time. And this one, this one is probably one of his most affordable tricks ever, uh, 40 bucks. $40. If you haven't seen Tornado Cube yet, uh, it's the effect where the magician spins the cube on his finger. Uh, I did it for TikTok about a week ago or so. It did really well. And so, uh, yeah, it's just fun. And I don't know if it looks exactly like magic per se, but if you've ever held a Rubik's Cube, you would know how impossible it is to spin one on your finger perfectly. So, I mean, yes, we should all think that's, that's darn near impossible to do, right? but it almost starts to look like skill, right? It almost starts to look like skill. So uh, I think it's a really fun trick and I wanna to talk to you about it. All right, Tornado Cube. This is from Dmitry Polyakov and Henry Harris Presents. And like I said, you can get this for two different price points. You can get this for $40 and it comes with zero cubes, zero cubes. But the great thing about this is you can put it into any cube you own. So. Uh, you're gonna get the parts you need and the decals you need. So you could literally just slide this into any cube, okay? Especially a gimmick cube you already have from Henry Harris. So let's say you've got Venom or you've got you know RD360 or you've got one of those other ones. You can put this on your other props and won't affect it in any way. And now you've transformed that cube into a cube that does more than one thing. So that's pretty cool. Otherwise it's $48 and it'll come with the RD cube. And of course you'll have to put it together. All right, so what do you get in the box? Uh, like I said, you're gonna get the gimmicks that you need, okay? And you're gonna get the extra stickers that you're gonna put it on so that it <laughs> matches. Uh, you'll get a bag for carrying the gimmick, which is cool because it also doubles as a ditch. So that's nice. Um, you're gonna get uh, something for the cube as well. And that kind of helps, that kind of goes along with the gimmick. And like I said, you'll get a little mini screwdriver to take the cube apart so that you can add uh, the necessary components. Is it what I thought? Uh, yeah, sort of. I mean, there was only kind of one option in my head about what it could possibly be, right? Aside from it being your finger. I mean, I had one other idea i like i think when i first saw it I, I thought it maybe was some sort of like invisible thumb tip but it's not that at all so uh, <laughs> and that kind of almost goes out the window uh the first or second time you watch it you're just like no he's not using something like that but it is a great great prop if i was going to say is it well made i mean it's made as best as i could possibly think i mean it's it's a beautiful prop i think it definitely is um Oh, how shall I put this? It's definitely skin toned. Hmm, yeah. So I think it, this is kind of akin to uh, when you buy a, a, a thumb tip, okay? So you wanna think about this like you would a thumb tip, even though it isn't a thumb tip, but it is like a thumb tip in that it seems like thumb tips only come in one color, and yet people come in many colors. So that is something that you have to think about. So what's the overall quality and production value of the video? It's great, it's great. Uh, HD, uh, music, well mic'd, lots of locations and shots. As far as what they're gonna give you, uh, you get a 25 minute video, you'll get the intro, the history, and you'll get the history from both Henry and Dimitri. He'll talk about what you get and how to care for your gimmick, and then how to use the gimmick with the cube. Of course, they're gonna walk you through how to install this gimmick on one of your cubes, whether you want it to be a trick cube or, or not. And then they'll walk you through how to perform the trick, how to load it, and then how to use the spin technique. Then they also got to cover cleanup, which they offer a couple different options. Uh, one of which is to toss it, 
right to your other hand. And I, I, if, I say, if I were gonna say, you know, you're gonna practice the toss method, please practice over a very soft, plush carpet. There's always the possibility that you could drop your cube, and if you've ever dropped a cube hard before, you know they kind of shatter. They have a tendency to fall apart. Uh, they're gonna talk about cleanup and ditching, and uh, Henry's gonna cover how to do this seated. So if you were sitting at a table, how you could do this. Then he'll teach you how to do this for the camera. So Dimitri's gonna come out, and he'll actually walk you through some Zoom style or YouTube style performances where you don't ditch the gimmick and you leave everything in the hands. And then they'll talk to you about how to combine this trick with other effects like Rubik 360, Venom, and the like. Pocket space. Um, really, aside from the cube, the gimmick itself takes up very little space. I mean, I would almost say it's, it's similar. It is similar to a thumb tip. And let me just dispel some you know, worry that you might be having. Uh, the gimmick is never seen. Okay, it's never seen. It's only made a flesh tone just in case there's a glimpse or a hint or a shade or a sliver of, uh, you know, uh, flashing. So it's, it's, only, it's only made a color just to minimize the flashing regard. And uh, it's, so, but again, it's not meant to be seen at all. So if you do this right, it could be painted bright green. <laughs> and it wouldn't matter because nobody should be nobody should be seeing this, right? Your your center of attention should always be on the cube, and never on the hand that kind of whisks away. And like I said, they're going to teach you how to do this with a ditch so that you can get rid of the gimmick as fast as possible. How are the angles on this? Uh, front facing is going to be best, right? Always front facing is best. I think even on the sides, if they were a little too far on the sides, they might see what you're doing. As far as inspectability goes, I think a cube could be totally inspected. It's still going to do all its algorithms. It's still going to function like a regular cube. Uh, the, the item that you add to the cube is a modified piece of a standard cube. So it's fine. Uh, it, nobody's gonna ever see it. And even if they did, I don't think anybody would even know what they were looking at. If somebody were able to see exactly the gimmick and they go, oh, there it is, there's that thing, I don't even think they would know what they were looking at. All right, so what are the slights and difficulty level of this? Um, there is palming involved. Palming as in getting into it and getting out. And like I said, there's a ditch. So that all is cover with your hands. And so feeling confident with palming, I think is, is key. If you've ever palmed a coin before, you should be fine. You know, if you're comfortable palming a coin, especially like a half dollar, uh, you'll be good. You'll be totally good. Uh, I think the practice is gonna come more so in making sure the, the gimmick and the cube um, do their thing. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, once you get out of the box, I would say your initial setup is about two to three minutes, depending on how fast you can get through this. Um, I, it won't take long at all. But then after that, you'll never need to do setup or reset again. It's, it'll always be in its ready to go state. And let me also say that it doesn't matter if the cube is in a solved state or a shuffled state. You could totally use this cube for another effect, especially if you just knew a standard solve, right? If you wanted to do a standard solve or a one-handed solve or something like that, you could do that and then go into this trick. Or you could do this trick as you're like, and that's the end of my show, folks. Like you could just do it as a throwaway. It doesn't have to be a full trick, right? You could just be like, all right, and that's, that's the end of the trick, that's the end of my show. So that'd be a fun way to close it out. Positives, I think this looks great. It does look great. It's a really cool visual. And I think it, it is one of those tricks where I think some people will look at it and say, oh, that was a magic trick too, because I know how cubes are and there's just no way you could do that. And then other people who don't know that would just think, oh wow, he's really talented or, or she's really skilled, right? So it'll either come across as magic or come across as you being somebody that spends a lot of time practicing. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? Uh, there's just a couple. Uh, the first of which was there wasn't any inst instruction about how to put decals on the cube. And as a person who's done cubing and cube solving and cube tricks before, there's kind of a little bit of a trick to it. I wouldn't recommend you just peel the stickers off and slap them on, okay? Um, I would always say use tweezers. So just go into your bathroom, find your little, twe find your little tweezers, uh, tweezer the very edge of that decal, line it up perfectly, and just kind of hover it above the square until you feel like, ah, oh, that's, that's really good, right? And then as you get it right, really good, you just start slowly descending. And if you feel like it's starting to twist again, just lift it back up, right? Because once you put it down, you've ruined the sticker. So if you have to peel it back up with your fingernail, it's trash. So 
Good thing is they give you plenty of stickers, plenty of stickers, plenty. So you can make a mistake here or there. So just a little bit of timing and it goes straight down. Uh, second negative is uh, I did this for TikTok and it probably took me 20 shots or so to do just so that everything lined up perfectly. Now, granted, I hadn't practiced it that much, but there still is kind of a feel to it. There is some muscle memory, but there's also some luck. <laughs> there is some luck about just hitting your mark. And uh, I found that when you don't hit your mark, there's this awkward fumbliness that takes place. And you don't ever want it to look like there could be a gimmick, right? It should look natural. It should look like you're just taking the cube and balancing it on your finger. And if it doesn't look like that, then you've almost ruined it because it's, it's taking too long, right? Or you're moving it in such a way that it looks mechanical and you, you don't want it to look like that. So I would say if you feel like it's taking an extra beat, you, you need to keep practicing. You need to keep practicing or figuring out how you can do it so that you always hit your mark consistently. As like you're doing it for video, it's fine. You know, you can, you can take those extra shots, but I think if you're doing it live, you need to do it in an offbeat, maybe when not everybody's paying attention, or like I said, you just need to practice so much that you know that you can consistently hit that mark every time. Is it worth your money? Like I said, it's only 40 bucks, 40 bucks. So affordable, so affordable, uh, especially if you do cube magic. And that's, the, that's really the target audience here. You know, you're either a speed cuber already. So let's just say you're a speed cuber and you're like, I've never done a magic trick in my life. That's fine. You could totally buy this. You could totally buy this. You know, you do your speed cubing uh, tricks and then, you know, take it to a speed cubing competition. And then you can just show your friends, say, hey, like, like watch this. And you can spin it on your finger. So this is something I've been practicing to see if you can figure this out. You'll, you'll blow everybody away because they will think that you did that with 100% skill. Or you're a magician that uses Rubik's cubes. And like I said, you just use this as your outro or use this as your closer. So I think though, I don't know that you'd buy this just for this one trick and nothing else, right? I, I think you need to have a Rubik's cube somewhere in your life, whether it's you are uh, you know, a cuber or a cube hobbyist or you're a magician that does tricks with Rubik's cubes. And that's everything I can say about the Tornado Cube. I hope that that was enlightening. I introduced you to something interesting or new. And if that's the case, please do me a favor. Now's the time where you can help me out. Click like, click subscribe, click follow, click all the buttons. Help me reach my goal this year of 50,000 subscribers. Have I reached? Is this 50 yet? Let me tell me when this is 50. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if my videos are entertaining or if they just brighten your day, do me a favor, brighten my day, brighten my day, right? Let's, let's help each other. And yeah, that's Tornado Cube. And of course it's available from Henry Harris Presents or wherever quality magic tricks are sold. And I wanna thank Henry for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure, uh, if you scroll down, there's a row of graphics that look like t-shirts and you can click any one of those and that'll take you to my Teespring store. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time, bye.